Everything is rolling. Keep We're live. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, last time there was way too much feedback. Um, there was way too much feedback on the microphones, and I think a lot of it, like when I was looking up on it, is because the connectors aren't in properly. So when it's sitting up on there, um, they're dragging down. So there is a. I'm thinking that I'm losing or I'm getting too much feedback because it's not perfectly in because it's dragging. I don't know. It's just a pain in the ass. Wait until I get the Zoom H6. It's my new thing that I want to get. So essentially, hey, Soph. So essentially, hey. <laughs> it's it's a recorder, okay. not elementary school recorder, an actual like professional recorder. Not like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star exactly. Recorder. Exactly. Or yeah. Green Sleeves. I was a Green Sleeves fan. Green Sleeves? Yeah. It's like old timey. I don't remember. It's oh, okay. Green. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I was like, yeah. I'm in an island on my own. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm but anyway, I'm with you now. So now I'm with you on the island. It's got four ports and, and it records great. And so once I have those four ports and I can control each microphone individually, yeah. game changer. Mm. What is going on, everybody? It is is the f word podcast i will not be speaking in, in staccato yeah. Yeah. in staccato <laughs> the entire episode uh thank you everybody for joining us whenever you're listening if it's saturday sunday or after saturday at one o'clock primarily uh, i hope you're having a good beginning to your weekend is friday technically the beginning obviously for me i've always considered friday like the start of the, the start, weekend yeah. friday at about yeah. noon and afterwards, it's Noon and weekend. afterwards, hey? Yeah, it's oh, weekend. Oh, shit. Yeah, um, yeah so I uh, hope yeah. you guys are having a good time. Hello, everybody in the live chat. Hello, hello. Welcome and welcome. Arturo, man, it's been a while. Hope you're doing well. It's about time. Um, <laughs> about damn time. <laughs> about, da- about damn time. <laughs> I kind of feel like I, w- I, w- I kind of feel. I wish I never named last week's episode The Accords Part 1. Because now part two is supposed to be this grand thing. And don't worry, we're actually going to reveal the list from last week. So last oh. week, if you didn't listen to last week's episode, me, Anthony, and Vasily broke down. Oh, by the way, I'm G. With me is Nick and V. And V. V. They're with me today. Oh, Anthony I'm Ann, is. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be. Well, I want to say you, you, and. Yeah. You say your name. Well, I've been saying, and. I've been oh, going with and. V. Oh, just okay. make it easy. Yeah. GVN. There's some, there's something there. GNV. NVG. NVG. GNV. That sounds like a competing GMC. Yes. The GN, GNV. The GNV Viera. Yeah. I love it. Oh, wow. GNV we Terrain. Something. There's something going the on GNV there. GNV Terrain. Canyon Nero. <laughs> yeah. Canyon Nero. <laughs> he was telling me to do that when I... So... <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna That's try a to great get. Gonna, Simpsons episode. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get my thoughts together here. Can okay, you know? first the <laughs> Zoom six, it's gonna happen. Uh, second, welcome to the episode. Third, last week we broke down the entire MCU. Yes. Movies like the standalones, no Avengers stuff. Civil War was the only one we added in there because it's technically a Captain America movie. Yeah. Um, so we broke that down. All 18 movies. We all rated each one individually with different scores. No movie had the same score from each individual. So let's say like if he had a movie that we rated a 10, only one movie could be a 10. Okay. To him, right? Yeah. Or if it was a six point two, or, yeah. The board. yeah. So then we average it all out. I think because <laughs> yeah. I sent you guys a list the next yep, day. I, I think we have a really good list here. Like well, I, I think it's, it could almost be the definitive list that Ooh. people could live by. Wow. Um, but I do think that Anthony screwed it up at the very end there because he decided to give a movie, Guardians of the Galaxy two, uh, a two out of ten. Which oh. I was, yeah, I think he did it in spite of me. That was harsh. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a little so, too much. Yeah. That's yeah. See, if you wanted so to spite, you would have given like Captain Marvel an eight. <laughs> Actually, it was close seven. Sorry, yeah. what, what did Arturo say? He's been for well. sure. Hope Saul's been well for y'all too. Yes. Y'all. How was rock climbing, by the way? Was it last week or the week before? Because I remember he went rock climbing. Anyway, so we broke it all down last week and we gave some good explanations to it. Aside from Anthony's Gardens of the Galaxy 2 lack of explanation, why it would actually garner a two, because like a two is super low, right? Yeah. Like the 50% mark is that the movie actually worked or didn't work. There yeah. is, there's only, I think, actually, I'm not going to, sp- well, I don't want to spoil it, which is not really the biggest thing in the world, but. We only have one movie that's under a five, and it's not even by that much. Oh, wow. Like, everything's at least a five and above, which huh. five is a 50% mark, Yeah, right? Under five is almost unwatchable. Anyway, so we broke that all down, and I finally have my, or we finally have our top list. 
with all the stuff. Now, if you'd like to, you do have the option to throw in some numbers yourself okay. and see which ones you would change because you weren't able to be here last week. Okay. Gentlemen, how has your week been? Go ahead. Pretty slow. Nothing Pretty crazy. slow. No. No. Yeah. No. Mine's been good. Good. You know, the nicer weather has actually kind of made like, people be a little bit nicer. Yeah, not want to like kill each other. Yeah. It's not like exactly. the purge out there. It's a not a verbal purge, if you will. Yeah, it's yeah. not <laughs> totally uh, you know, people being all like Eeyore, mm, doom and gloom and yeah. like Debbie Downer. So it's it's been really good. So yeah, hopefully that stays. Yeah. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I like being a Debbie Downer sometimes. Every now and then it's okay to be a Debbie it's Downer, cathartic. but yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get you. Well, I actually like to get up now as opposed to waking up every morning and being like, this is the worst. Yeah. Like waking up is, is like, oh, I'm up now. It's nice. Let's go. We'll go to work. Go Let's get go a coffee. Enjoy our day, all that stuff. You know, that's fun stuff. Every day I go to McDonald's now for a coffee. Oh, for coffee. I was going to be like, dude, that's like, not very healthy of you. No, 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 no. Not yeah, Not to eat a meal. But like I, I, every 9.30 day. in the morning, Nick. One coffee, two Big Macs, and eight <laughs> McNuggets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me, Should Nick, be good for an hour. Uh, <laughs> it should be good for an hour. Yeah. Get another two ready just in <laughs> just case. Just in case. <laughs> I'm going to dial nine and one. And when you see me go into defib, <laughs> dial one again. Dial one again. Yeah. Like Nick Fury before he, pa- like he fades <laughs> away pressing the button. Yeah. No, I just get my coffee in the morning, but yeah. that's my, it's my go-to now. I'll drop off my daughter at daycare, go grab a coffee and then it's off to work. But yeah, it's good to have that little routine, man. Like it's a little mm-hmm. something that you, you have as part of your day. People always shit on routines. Routines are great. Routines are fine, man. Yeah. Once you get out of a routine and you this have is a none, routine. This is and a routine. And it's a good routine. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Routine. 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 Uh, Arturo Routine. says it was two weeks ago that he went. Dope. And he said it was great. His good. forearms were killing him the next day. But that's how you know you did a good job. Good yeah. news is, obviously, he didn't fall. Yes. Clearly. Yeah. Yes. Clearly. Yeah. Which is great. I haven't been ro- I've only been rock climbing once when I was really young. When I was a young, it was like lad. a high school thing. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Doing Same that. with snowboarding. I only went snowboarding once. I only did I've skiing ever. That. Skiing. Skiing is the only thing I ever tried. I've done ski. Well, cross country is all I've done. No, that's I, I fun. hated. I can't cross skate either. Like no? hockey skate, no, or rollerblading. Um, would it be safe fun. to say that Arturo is our our most loyal fan right now? It's it's a race between Jesse, Arturo, and Blake. That's true. Balake. Um, Balake. It's pronounced Balake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, Arturo's here, and Blake and Jesse aren't. And I don't know if that's because of their allegiance to Anthony, which that on its own makes Arturo better because it doesn't Absolutely. matter who's on. Yeah. He's, he's on, in, right? Yeah. So there's a there's a, there's a thing going on. I've been keeping track. I've got a mental log of everything going yeah, on. I'm pretty sure Arturo's our, our biggest follower. I would, and I would think so. if he's ever... In our area, yeah, we need to bring him on the show. Well, I would say this: um, it's not a race. Blake is easily number one. Actually, <laughs> if there, okay, first of all, if there's a race, that's from <laughs> Anthony who's tuning in because uh, he has to work. So to clearly, work. he's not working very hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jesse might be only because he bought Red Dead Redemption Two for Anthony as a gift. Yeah, that's pretty. That's, that's a big, that's big, a big thing. thing. But Arturo won one of our t-shirts and he's worn it and i think he's wearing it in his thumbnail like he's got an f word t-shirt too okay. I, but i know jesse and blake also have them so that's why i it's i don't tie. i don't like yeah. ties i think ties are strictly for father's day yeah but <laughs> in this case though it's really tough because you know it, they're all all three of them are you know because you used to be at that point you were like the, a fan. Now you're on the show. Look yeah. at where you've come. Out of, out of you convenience. went from yeah. substitute yeah. teacher to principal. <laughs> and, and Jesse has been on our YouTube channel. He did a review with Anthony a while yes. back as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, one or two has reviews. Blake ever? I don't think so. Really? But I, I think Blake might have been on a Twitch with Anthony as well. Balake. Oh, yeah, you're right. He was. Yeah, Balake. Yeah. Balake, yeah. you need to be on so, the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll have to Anthony, figure something out. Anthony, take some time off. Listen, when we get big. Like yeah. I'm talking really big. Yeah. We'll have a live studio audience and yeah. we get to pull people from there. Like and bring them on. It's the F word show or whatever. Yeah. Right. In 22 years for sure. Yeah. We'll but ready. again, speaking to the, to Jesse's thing to Red Dead for Anthony, he did that to, for Anthony. Yeah. Again, not for us. Right. So that's where if you were to take where the allegiance lies, if, if this ended up becoming like a tribal thing and we all picked our sides, you know, at least we know that. So if here's it's the three of us against Anthony. Anthony might have Jesse and Blake, Shore Balake. Yeah. But we would I think there's a good chance that we could have Arturo. Arturo. So Arturo, we need to ask you if if we asked you to buy Red Dead Redemption for us, 
hypothetically, would you do that for us? Yeah. Take your time to answer. We have about another, what, 56 minutes before we end up the podcast. But yes. let us know. Let yeah. us know. Let us know. Let us know in the comments below. The, blah, blah. the fate of number one follower is in your hands. Yeah. No I, pressure. But I think like progressively <laughs> every single time it just it keeps changing yeah. over and over again. I will say this, though, in our Instagram, which if you're not following the F word podcast on Instagram, Arturo has commented on almost everything that I put out in terms of the who said it. Yeah. Which, by the way, if anybody was paying attention this week, the quote that I put out was from Carlito's way. That's oh, a tough it was one. Carlito. I know. It, it's super. Uh, it was I never super tried obscure. to look it up either, but. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was super obscure. Hello, Tom Fowles. Yep. Tom, Tom Fowles. Tom Fowles. What's good? Things are good. Everything's good. I don't think I'm going to bitch too much today, by the way. Not much to bitch about. No, I don't think so. We Also, they took a photo of a black hole that looks like the Eye of Sauron, so that's yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was pretty interesting. That was pretty it's cool. Super interesting. So does that make The Lord of the Rings a prequel to our lives, or is it actually set <laughs> in the future when all hell is broken loose, and that can account for the magic? It's a different Earth. That, yeah. It's a middle different Earth. Different age. Sure. Age of men that we don't know about. Right. But is that because this age of men has dis- been destroyed and a new age, a new man has came come about? Who knows? That's what I'm saying, man. That's, that's some pretty heavy stuff. Yeah. Really heavy stuff. Really heavy stuff. Also, yeah. for th- three days away from Game of Thrones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm super excited. Do you watch any recaps? I've watched two recaps no. so far. Uh, like recaps on like just a quick ones. Yeah, like uh, Screen Junkies has a full fifty-seven minute recap of every single season. That's pretty good. Oh, wow. I actually I saw James Corden. He did a a fun one. Yeah, on his show the other day, and he actually made his 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 writer that wrote that little recap. Yeah, he made him watch it in one sitting. Oh, like they, 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 they stuck him in the room. He's like, you got to watch all these episodes, and then yeah, and then after they told him, now you have to write a recap. How long did so it he take had, like, him? 70 60 hours. 60 some yeah. hours, yeah. Is that the full, well, is that the it's full like, run? It's actually over 70 hours, you're right, because yeah. most episodes are an hour Yep. up until like the last two seasons where there's a couple that are an over an hour. Because yeah. each season is roughly 10 hours, like especially well, the first few, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, I mean, with season seven being actually... I don't actually, need you to yell so loud. Why? I'm just joking. Now, every time you tell me, you gotta talk louder. <laughs> it's very I'm too talking too loud. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Your so, audio levels are going to be so <laughs> awful for this. No, it's, it's, the 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 volume on my <laughs> it's the bleeding that I worry about because what happens is like... I'm so, going to be talking through here, but it, it'll come yeah, through there. So, like, it, and it happens all the time. So what happens is that there's an echo. So the, not to cut you off, no, but good. I'm kind of yeah. cutting you off. The first time I did a deep dive with uh, Jim and Hennick, we did one on directors a while back. And if yeah. you want to go back in the archives, it was an awesome one on like real good directors. <laughs> Anyways, I had the volume levels too high because there was the first time I used that preamp down there, the oh, focus, okay. right? Yeah. And I go through so it. It's picking up everything. Dude everything yeah. it's a sounded, mouse farted in a picture <laughs> not only that like it, it was an echo because yeah. their voice Still was coming Atmos. through mine and mine oh, through his around. and everything like that so i had to go through all dialogue i was up till four in the morning oh. and i had to take out mine and hennick's dialogue because we were on one microphone and jim was on another one because he was sitting on a, on a couch further away yeah and i had to go through every line and take out Jim stuff for mine and it was a three hour conversation oh jeez oh, oh my fun. god so ever since then I've been trying to like really be careful when it comes to it so I have yeah. the levels down low but this oh, okay, is the loudest cool. you've yeah. been in a while oh, well there you go it's very animated yeah, when it comes yeah. to Game of Thrones so anyways yeah, you were 20. saying Game anyways, of Thrones on. so season Six, 7 yes. actually has less episodes but one or two of them are a lot longer so yeah. that's where it constitutes probably around 60 to 70 some hours yeah and uh, yeah so he made him walk, watch it all in one run that's and like then three days though Probably that's true. Yeah. That's three days. Like yeah. you, you, you gotta assume like they let him sleep. No, it didn't look well. There's no, no 12, way. 24, 40, the way that seventy two yeah, hours 40, 72 is three. If you, hours, you watch yeah, the yeah, montage, right. I think it would, like they obviously cropped yeah. it pretty quick. So like, he probably got a break. Maybe he didn't actually get to leave at all. Yeah, yeah but I'm pretty but, sure like, that's slavery. Had, wow. Like I think there's, after there's some labor laws hours, there. That... Your your mind starts to like go into like crazy hallucinations and shit like that they probably just been like your whole life is watching it and going to sleep and watching and going to sleep it'd have to be well who knows there's no way he'd be able to function and write a report at that point i kind of want to try it myself (laughs) like you know what like yeah i I would need to at least have like a two-hour nap at some point like you know after the 24 and 48 Mm -hmm. hour mark but uh there's a theater in the states that's playing all the avengers movies 
before. Back to back, yeah. like all through. It's 57 hours. Yeah, I yeah. heard about that. Yeah. yeah. IMAX, right? IMAX, yes. yes. So currently the entire MCU has less runtime than, Ga- well, Game of Thrones will ultimately have more of a runtime yeah. than the, the entire yes. MCU, yeah. which is interesting yeah. because yeah. you've got eight season versus ni- uh, 20 movies. Yeah, but Sorry, you look 18, at movies. The, the next season coming up, there's three episodes that are an hour and yeah. the rest are over. Yeah. At least an hour. Is that hour. after the halfway point? Actually, there's. I looked at the they they released all the time. So the first two are an hour, so okay. fifty minutes each. Mm-hmm. The third episode is sixty. Mm-hmm. So right, exactly so that, an hour. Exactly an hour. So yeah, the fifty is like ten minutes, whatever yeah. off. But and then season f- or episode four goes back to fifty, mm-hmm. and then the last two, two are eighty minutes long. Who's dying? Like is everyone dying or is, is anyone going to survive? It's speculated. Get, Who knows? I'm, let's speculate. That's what uh, have you guys read the books? Fifty percent of the time, I have not read the books. I have not either. The books so. only go to season five technically. That's the thing. Oh really? Yeah, so, he's not caught up. So there's a race of will the series end before, before he the finishes books. the book, yeah. and will he finish the book differently than the series? And if I were him, I would because yeah. that would sell the shit out of the book and yeah. being like, there's an alternate ending. ending. In yeah. the book. Well, yeah. the thing is, I, I the the directors and stuff like they have the big arc that they have to maintain for sure by George R. R. Martin standards. Okay, so they won't change that, but there are certain storylines that got left by the wayside. Yeah, that because uh, my roommate he's read all the books and there's are already some stuff that got left on the you know on the ground obviously with uh, with the oh, wow. series. Yeah, versus what's in the book. He's uh, read all the books. Well, there's only five, and yeah, he's read but them. Still, like, yeah, he's read them all long, yeah. long before even the series came about. Actually, even really? two. So it's interesting when we were watching it. I picked his brain every episode or every season. Say, okay, what was different and stuff yeah. like that? Because roughly, it's a season a book, I think, pretty yeah. close. But it's also broken down differently because you'll you'll read about just Jon Snow, and then I'll skip next episodes all or next uh, chapters all about Tyrion. So oh, okay. whether the the story is interlined some way, obviously, but you're yeah. jumping around. All, in well, that my guess is is that much like when I've talked about Tarantino movies, mm-hmm. he writes them as novels. So this chapter is dedicated to this, 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 and yeah. you piece it together the way that you're piecing yeah. it together. Yeah. The books sound like they're yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. What did our tour respond? By the way, I saw he had a paragraph. Uh, Thank you, by the way, for uh, making sure that we're not. Um, he, oh my god! What have you done? Yeah. And I wasn't yeah. sure about the quote, and I definitely would buy you guys R two D two. R D R two. R D R two. Oh, there. Yeah. You. I see. Uh, acronyms. Probably, Ar- acronyms. Acronyms. Yeah, that's how you Quote, find a yeah. bit of gray are financially at the moment, but <laughs> if this is leading, I'll see, see what I can do. Even more so, even, like the, it's fact the willingness. Is, the financials <laughs> yeah. are in, in, in disarray, yet he's still willing to do it. And extra points. And again, I've said this on the show many times. He was the first person to comment on one of my mistakes back when we did the top five, I think it was video games or something. Oh, okay. Um, the Kingdom of Hearts versus the Kingdom Hearts that I made the mistake on. Yeah. Mm. And it was more so like, hey, just wanted to let you know, this is the deal. This is how it is. I was like, oh, shit. And I made a mistake. He called it out and he's just been, you know, he gave us a chance. He didn't. We need to take Arturo out. <laughs> if we need to go somewhere we, where we meet a destination spot. So he gets yeah. a holiday. We get a break. We're going to take him out somewhere mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and just whatever. I don't know. I hope the guy's at least 21 mm-hmm. so he can drink. I think so. I'm assuming so. I'm assuming no. so. Arturo, let us know if you're at least over 21. Uh, yeah. if, this if is if a whole other conversation that. then. <laughs> um, yeah. Nate Day asked, do you think the new Hellboy will be good? Absolutely. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> I I was actually excited for it, and all I've been reading about is terrible reviews. But I don't usually go by them. But I'm surprised how bad it's being rated right now. Like it, apparently it had a lot of problems in the background, but that's beyond the point. That's too I, bad. I'll probably still check it out because I did like the original two with Ron Perlman. They are great. So I, I, I think they're I think they're great for what they are. Like in terms exactly, of they're, yeah. they're fun as hell to watch. Yeah, super so, imaginative. I've never and seen it's Guillermo del Toro. They're pretty I would good, recommend actually, yeah. watching them. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Even even just for the designs of a lot of the monsters that are in mm-hmm. there, because mm-hmm. Guillermo del Toro is is just his imagination is just crazy, like yeah. crazy great. Mm-hmm. That's true. But to go back to your original question about yes. speculating Game of Thrones deaths, um, Sansa's dead. Sansa's probably gonna die. Probably actually, gonna you die. know what? Knowing that she'll die, she'll live, and then Aya will probably die because she's yeah. actually in the thick of everything. Yep, um, she's probably dead. Cersei will hopefully die. Everyone's hoping for Who? that. Cersei. I think Cersei. Cersei yeah, I, I think, think eventually she will. And yeah. I, I think it's going to yeah. be the Kingslayer the... thing, where Jaime, being the Kingslayer, is going to kill her. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, you know what? Da- Daenerys. 
or John will definitely die. I think. I think Tyrion will. No, I see. I see Tyrion surviving. I, I think, think he's he gonna be the one that people hated, loved, and in the end, I think he's gonna be dead, and people are gonna be devastated by it. Well, we are now. Like we like him now, right? He's, yeah. He's we're we're, we're on. And you team. think he'll be the one that'll change everyone's perception? Like it'll you, it'll cleanse. Hold and on, hold on. You actually hated him. No, well, yeah, in the beginning, you did. Yeah, you, like, you hated Tyrion. Yeah, I did. I like, no I, like, I didn't like his character in the beginning. I'm like, I found really? him to be just an arrogant dick, right? Are oh, you thinking of who are you thinking of? Are like, you thinking the of the short guy? The, the short you guy. You didn't like him, really? No, in, oh. the, in the beginning, See, I, I didn't he, like him. I like, thought he was from great get, from the get go. I loved his I, like, style. Yeah, no, he spoke I, truth bombs. I was, I was just kind of like. I, I don't know. He was kind of like riding the coattails of his family for a while there. For sure, he, he was. No, right. He had no choice because yeah. he was. They were treating him like right. shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. But at the same token, I was like, I, I had like, okay, maybe I didn't. I shouldn't say I hated him, but I, like, no empathy for the character. Okay. And then later on, um, it was when he was married to Sansa, where I'm like, okay, this guy's like, I mean, he's kind of growing t- on. That was me. a hard time. Like, yeah. and he was like, I know you're not gonna like love me know. or whatever mm-hmm. but like that was the point where obviously i think everyone just really was like okay empathize with the character and you respect his tactics all the time like and, he was- and because of that i think because he went from he was the dick mm-hmm. to the nice guy like he he did the whole like the 180 right mm-hmm. like or he he had like all spectrums yeah. for him to die i think would be more impactful mm-hmm. than aya because yeah. aya everyone always loved and like yes like there was, you know, like they would obviously be upset if she she died. Mm-hmm. But I think there's more to be said about somebody who's not who's kind of the asshole, the jerk who you learn to love mm-hmm. and then he passes away. I don't know. For me, I think that has more impact than somebody who's like, you know, oh, like, yeah, she was always awesome. But like, there's no like, oh, like there's no roller coaster ride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's For no who, climax. You? Yeah. Well, I think I think the fact that she almost died <laughs> she has a bunch own, of times like and yeah. she has her list yes. like her and her list of of revenge against the people that killed yeah. her her family. Um I think the only person the only two people that I would not feel bad for that they died are Cersei and Kyburn. Yeah, because Kyburn was a, a disgrace. He's, again. he's Sorry. her. He's her meister. He's that the the guy oh, that brought yeah, the. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he was a disgraced one for like for yeah. doing all these uh, weird experiments with it, all these other yes. people and stuff. That's yeah. how he was experimenting with the the yeah. mountain and stuff. Yeah, those are the only two people that have no redemption arc whatsoever. They are bad. They were well, specifically Cersei. She was from one start to the other. Mm-hmm. She was just completely like, she's fucked. Right? Yeah, like she's just in, in my mind. I'm like, I I I love her character. Like mm-hmm. in terms of. Lena Headley acted the shit out of her character, mm-hmm. and that is one of the most prominent. I think she's the best actress in the entire Game of Thrones uh, series. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. She's she the plays best her actress. character very well. That's yeah, but like I'm saying, the way that she played him, she was the best performance. Yeah. Littlefinger would be a second, close yeah. second. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the villains primarily would be with that. Um, mm-hmm. Did you see uh, yeah. Kit Harrington on, or he's going to be on Saturday Night Live, or was he on it? He was on he it. He was on I it. I saw that. It was yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, his his wife, who was on the show, Egrid. was on it, and she goes uh, something along the lines of like, "I need to talk to you about Game of Thrones," and he's like. I can't tell you. you know, I know yeah, we're yeah. married. I can't tell you anything about it. And she's like, no, no, no. My question is, what are we going to do now that it's done? Like, <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do, <laughs> what for, are we money? do for money? <laughs> well, he's like, big I into saw gambling. that episode. I actually taped it. It was yeah. good. Oh, he's really? huge into gambling, apparently. Like, really? He, oh, he, so well. Likes the ponies. He wants yeah. to, he wants <laughs> to leave. Ponies. He wants to leave. Uh, he, like, he wouldn't come back for anything. Uh, mm-hmm. He said that. And he's been lending himself to doing, like, to being on VLT machines and stuff. Like, really? Yeah, it's for Game of Thrones. For Game of Thrones theme stuff. So oh, okay. because he also is a big avid gambler. So oh, I think wow. there was something like that I, I is saw. Is he a poker I don't player? Know. I don't know. He was clean cut apparently for a Saturday Night Live. He had to for some of the skits. They were pretty yeah. they were pretty good. Yeah. I liked them. He shaved. Well, I guess the show's done anyway, so the it show's matter. Done. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was clean not, cut. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. But yeah. 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 Um, yeah. A Wimba Way Lion King trailer. Yes. Um, yeah. Where are we at on this? What do we think of it? Go for it. Dropped. Was it a surprise that it dropped? I was actually surprised. Yeah, they did. But I mean, eventually there was going to be a longer because all we've had is teasers necessarily. We haven't had anything concrete. So now we've had um, the actual singing in place on a few like. Mainly Timon and Pumbaa. Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah. And, at the end, uh, there. at the end, which they look great. You yeah. see the the actors' voices, minus like Donald Glover and Beyonce. Beyonce. 
as Which, adult. By the so, way, so like none of the mains except for Mufasa you could hear in the background. You never actually saw the lion talking except for Scar. Yeah, their um, their can you feel the love tonight is gonna be fire. Yeah. yeah, their version is like uh, that album is going to be so goddamn yeah. good. I'm going to buy that album and I cannot wait to hear them drop that. It's yeah. going to be so good. It's going to be number one on the radio, like airwaves for be. like a six months. It has <laughs> oh, yeah. to be. Christmas that, will be coming. We're going to be like a fix. That, <laughs> that album is going to be massive if, yeah. They, oh, yeah. if they release it, which I'm assuming they will. Yeah. yeah. So my one problem, and we've already talked about it, is Scar. Scar. The character Scar. who plays Scar. Yeah. It doesn't fit him to be the voice actor villain. You need to see his emotions. You need to see the menacing look in his eye. Mm-hmm. Chiwetel, is that it? Chiwetel Ejiofor. Ejiofor. Wonderful actor. His voice is good. Like I saw in Firefly, he played a very good villain. Oh my God, he's so good in that. But you need to see him. But uh, in this as a as a line, he wasn't menacing to me. I don't know. Like they made him look like a ragged, you know, alley cat basically as a, a yep. lion. Was it you that said he, he looked gray or whatever? Was that you? He, was, or he, he that mentioned was you. Yeah, he but said yeah. he looks gray. Like he doesn't have the black mane, yeah. the darker skin. So like they didn't obviously. I don't know why the point of that is, but okay, forget that. But just the the voice actor himself doesn't work. And I went and actually researched a little bit more why they didn't get Jeremy Irons. It turns out he wasn't asked at all. Really? Now, and he he says like, well, they didn't ask me. He'd be more than happy to do it, but they never asked him. So so weird. To me, I think it has come honestly. It race. I honestly think they wanted to do a prominently black cast, and that's why they have obviously Chiwetel. As I think so. Star. Right? I, I'm I'm guessing actually. That's my best guess. Otherwise, why wouldn't you ask the original guy who portrayed Scar? amazingly mm-hmm. and jeremy iron's voice like is menacing on its own mm-hmm. like you do and to see him talk even more so like i'm actually just watching the borgias uh, with jeremy irons as uh, mm-hmm. rodrigo borgia yeah and to hear him talk and it's like why wouldn't they ask this guy like give him the option if it was like if it was the actor's choice not to come back fine cool but mm-hmm. it sounds like disney decided to go in a different direction not even ask him but they brought back james Earl jones well, to me, that's, that's and that's a good why point. I'm like, if you're taking the two most pivotal characters, really, and mm-hmm, you're keeping the same voices, then is it really a remake? Like, yes, it's a, it's a remake in terms of the fact that it's not animated. Yeah, but you're taking the two most pivotal characters, right? Really, in the show, like at that point, it's not a remake; it's a retro. Yeah. Like okay. it's yeah. it's you're you, so kind of like I a think, soft reboot. Yeah, I think they had Just to a shot for shot remake slash soft right. reboot. Mm-hmm. I think James Earl Jones, the fact that his voice was so iconic. Yeah, I don't think anybody else, frankly, would have taken on that role True. because it's such big shoes to fill. Yeah. With Jeremy Irons, I think their 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 hands were tied. I think mm-hmm. they had to say, okay, look, guys, we if we use his voice, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We have to find somebody to replace. So mm-hmm. now. I don't necessarily think that it was a race thing. Mm -hmm. I think it was just a matter of like who is ever voice that they said was like close enough to go to it. Mm -hmm. But I think if they had gone with Jeremy Irons, this movie would have it. Everybody would just be like, it's the same fucking movie. All Mm -hmm. we're doing is we're taking out the kid from home improvement and (laughs) putting in uh, Donald Glover. Glover. See, I don't, I disagree because this is a shot for shot remake. If they decided to say, we're going to do a Lion King movie, but it's not going to be based on the original cartoon, then all the power to you. But if you're already bringing back James Earl Jones, which, yes, I get that his voice is iconic as Mufasa, but Mufasa's in it for 20 minutes, not even. Yeah, Scar's the whole movie. Scar's the villain. Yeah. He is is the one that wrongfully accuses Simba, so Simba can then leave Pride Rock and come back. So that's why, for me, if you're going to... I'm not saying don't get James Earl Jones. Fucking do it. Yeah. But to your point, because it's a shot for shot remake, we we're not surprised at what's going to happen. Yeah. You should get a Jeremy Irons because I get where you're thinking that it might be a race thing. I'm not a hundred percent, but I can see how maybe it might mm-hmm. be. My issue with Chiwetel Edge for voicing it is that he doesn't have Scar will come across to me mm-hmm. as a different character. Just from the voice in the movie, he's no longer the sly one that's been pushed aside to the shadows. Mm-hmm. He's now going to be the one that – are we supposed to feel sorry for Scar? I mean, and you can if you will. Yeah. There, there's obviously something that happened between Mufasa and Scar that Scar resents Mufasa so much mm-hmm. that he wants to tear everything he built, right? So there's yeah. a backstory there we don't know about. 
But the way that he sounds with Ch- Chiwetel Ejiofor is he sounds very intelligent, very uh, very calming. Mm-hmm. He doesn't sound like you mentioned menacing and sly and that this guy's up to something. Like whenever mm-hmm. when when Jeremy Irons opens his mouth in that movie, you're like, oh man, like I know this is a bad guy. Yeah, that's that's where my but, that's where I'm coming, and so it changes what the characters like and what his motivations are for a shot for shot remake. But we're we're only testing this based on 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 a sample of two minutes True. of a trailer. <clears throat> so yeah. if you bring back James Earl Jones, who is, and not to uh, when I say this, like don't take it as a bad thing, but it's inconsequential. Yeah. Like his voice, like iconic is in, like you said, for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So if you're going to take the character who is predominant, like the, who's the villain yep, and you want to do, yes. Okay. It's a shot for shot remake, but you want to do a spin on it. Wouldn't it be in your best interest to change that character? Because that's the one that's going to be out of a two hour movie, 120 minutes. He's in it for 110. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other guy who's in there, James Earl Jones, who's in there for 20. So, yes, you could keep James Earl Jones. He's the throwback. He's the one who may tie people in who saw it like my age group and say, okay, it's mm-hmm. James Earl Jones. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like I'll play off the nostalgia of that. But if you want to distinguish your movie, from the animated one in that instance i would say yes take jeremy irons out and put in a new one because he's in it for 110 of the 120 minutes as opposed to the 20 minute one yeah you do have a point of it being such a small clip but and you'll have to see it all pieced together yeah same thing with like the whole genie thing right and you can't do the facial like a cartoon you could control the facial Mm -hmm. like you know movements of it to, to to an extent although if they had done a, fa- uh, a cartoon one now based on the technology we have compared to when we had it in 1995 or four, yeah. whenever it came out, like, I think then you could have played off the facial, you know, like the, the movements Make it more, more. Animated. but we're talking about like a lion that, yeah. you know, yeah, I don't Just know. Relatively live action. Yeah. Yeah. yeah from, I guess for me, it's, if you're good, like for, if I would have liked, I was on board with you tell you for from day one, but when I heard him, I don't hear Scar. I hear somebody else. I hear yeah. another person that feels yeah. like they've been wronged by a system, a different cadence in their voice, a different rhythm in their voice, yeah. and I don't feel like it's menacing. Um, that part where he where he's like strolling on the top of the rock and he's like run away or never return yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It seemed like he was yelling it from far away, which we'll get. That's a we'll talk about that in a little <laughs> okay. bit. Um, but it felt like he was yelling it from far away. He's like, run away. Like, just, just like a throwaway. It wasn't yeah. the in your face, run away and never return because you did this and make you feel like it, that Shakespearean tragedy that Jeremy Irons brought forth with his voice. I didn't hear that. And yeah, it may just be a clip, but it's still a clip of very prominent scene because they straight up showed us the wildebeest situation and yeah. told him, get out. Right. Mm-hmm. Which again, yeah. shot for shot. We know what's going to happen, but it, you're right though. It is a small clip. We do have to see the rest of it. And in the context of that, we might end up being like, no, he was great. So put yourself in the 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 producers, whatever yeah, the creator shoes. Yeah. yeah, the creator shoes. If you couldn't use Jeremy Irons, yep. mm-hmm. who would you use as a voice? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Urkel. No. I'm <laughs> Urkel. No. Urkel. Who would you but like seriously, whose yeah. voice would, would stand out to a point where other than Jeremy Irons, so to distinguish yourself from the nineties version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whose voice would you put in there that would where you would be like, "Fuck yeah, that's a good one." Hmm. Part of my that's French. a good question. If I was, if I really wanted to, I should. Sorry, I, I would say I would say more uh, often. I know he's in. I know he's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know he's in everything, but I've seen him in the mocap for. Um, uh, I've seen him in the mocap for Smaug. I would say Benedict Cumberbatch because he's got quite a menacing voice. Yeah. There was somebody else I was thinking, and I can't pin the name of him right now and I can barely picture him but there was something else. I was talking recently about somebody with a voice Chris yeah. uh, what would you think about Chris, Chris Tucker, Hemsworth no. oh. Chris Hemsworth Chris Scar mm. well like okay so we know he's him kinda, as he, he, we know him as Thor right yeah, but he's yeah, got yeah. that raspy voice yeah. if he channel, channeled his inner villain yeah. no, do I, you think he could pull it off no I think it I, I can actually see Tom Hiddleston doing it I was going to say Tom Hiddleston actually has the more Cause, menacing because okay. Chris Hemsworth got that kind of what is I don't want to say dull wit about him 
He's got but a charm about him. But it's almost, still charming. But yeah. Like Scar is is charming, don't get me wrong, but you know he's menacing, yeah. right? So but I don't know. Like and this is an argument that you say with some with this is the Joker argument yeah. where everyone was like, Heath Ledger, screw him, and they were like, Everyone's like, Heath Ledger, let's bow down, yeah. right? Yeah. So Although Joaquin and the Dude, I don't understand. Uh wow. apparently people are complaining about that trailer. Of course they are. And I'm like, hey, got how? Because they live in their parents' basement and they probably well, I, don't have a job. <laughs> there was there was a post I saw on Instagram, and I, I. But the thing is, I haven't heard anybody complain about the trailer. No, I've just been seeing posts on Instagram. It's like, oh, everyone's hating the trailer because quote unquote Marvel desensitized everybody. It's like, no, Marvel the fuck didn't. No, they didn't. It was an um, incredible trailer. Yeah. I yeah. honestly think that movie might be Oscar worthy. I'm telling you, I, it might I be, agree. It, it might be weird to I say, agree. but I'm I'm putting it. It looks wonderful, and it's touching on a bunch of things that are topical of today, like mental health in an era where at the time when people weren't talking about it, and the effects of that, and playing into the fact of like the one bad day, which is iconic with the Joker, and also the... I love the fact they don't they don't show him from the beginning as the as the criminal that we're used to seeing, right? Like, yeah, man. I mean, for me, with the with the Michael Keaton Jack Nicholson version, where he was a gangster, like he was mm-hmm. like you know he was like a thug, right? Yeah. Who yeah. who would like? But he was always like the bad guy. He was never portrayed as the guy that was just you know down on his luck and you know oh put on a happy face, like mm-hmm. you know life sucks, but just suck it up, like. I love that, and again, it touches on the mental health aspect. But I yeah. love that that version and that spin on it. Me too. And I think it's a lot more relatable to to a lot of people. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to it's going to be that one. I think I talked about it last week, where it's going to be the movie that's going to divide fans again, obviously, yeah. yeah, from the Heath Ledger people. And I think Anthony even said, no matter what, he's gonna. It's always going to be Heath Ledger for him. Yeah. No matter that's how fair. good this performance is, and for me, I'm like. I don't know. This looks like I, it could be. I, uh, it could be. A, it's a, first of all, different Joker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't find it that there's a competition. It's not the same. But if you were going to put a competition, then this looks like it would be competing. Yeah. yeah. I think it, these two would be the top two. The backstory with with this one with Joaquin Phoenix and the way uh, his character develops, mm-hmm. I think you might actually see more of an empathy when people like watch the movie. Yep. Compared to when they saw you know, dark Knight, and they see him as the bad guy from, from the get go. And like, he was like right away, yeah, right away. Like yeah, yeah, there yeah. was no backstory where he was in love and you know, whatever he was suffering from, whatever anguish he was suffering mm. from, it was straight up. No, I'm a gangster. I'm going to make this pencil disappear in your eye. Well, not only that though, like, and they're two different types. So the one showed you the motive. This is what I got out of it. So the, yeah. the, the dark Knight one showed you his motive. You see it throughout. It is a it, it that that scene in the interrogation room. Yeah, like it broke down everything beautifully, mm-hmm. and it was a very external motive on someone who's extremely intelligent and sees how the world is. And it's like you know that something happened with him. This is going to be an internal character study. Yes, which I I am just love wa- to see I how they execute. Yeah, it. I just want to dive into yeah. it because if there's anything that we've been missing is those really deep character stories with one person. Like again, the taxi drivers. Yeah. Like taxi drivers, one of my favorite Scorsese movies, and this looks like that. Or a Mean Streets. Like movies mm-hmm. like those that are so internal that they're. I don't know. It's it's a yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. You have a comment. It looks, I do. You, you've been Go for ho- it. focusing on this. Can, comment. Well, I'm gonna come back to it after. Read the moment. Yeah. But yeah, Lion unless King, you have something, it'll be good. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, Lion King. It'll, it'll still be good, good regardless. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We'll just have to see how the villain does. Anyways, uh, the Cam Shack asks, "Who has it worse, Sarah Connor or Michael Myers' sister?" Oh, oh shoot. So I'm Mike, gonna say Sarah Connor. You think so? There's an army against her. Michael Myers' sister only has the one, and if I'm if I'm getting this all correctly, like yeah, because Michael if Myers Lord's, keeps coming back to try to I get kill that his sister, but the Terminator has an yeah. army of Terminators against. But only her. one always gets sent back. Well, no, not until not with the revolt. Oh, wait, never mind. No, because there was technically always. two sent back: the T one thousand and uh, Arnold. But then Arnold was there sent to protect. Her. I get so that's that. A little different, but two were sent back. So True. if they can send two, then they can keep doing it. Mm-hmm. What do you think? That's a good question. Who asked that question? The Cam Shack. Also, like, yeah, have we the Com Shack? The Com Shack, yeah. <laughs> isn't Michael Myers like? Um, isn't Michael Myers a person? 
still? Or is it some being? I don't know the lore very well of Mike Myers. It was just a made up story. No, I know it's, it's a like... made up story. But like, <laughs> in the lore of Mike he, Myers, is yeah. he immortal? Uh, in a way, because because the Terminator back. is a machine, right? Yeah. So yeah. he can get rebuilt and Mike stuff Myers like keeps that. He's coming back. He's partly immortal. Like he can't die technically. Or and whatever. the Terminator travels through time. Yeah, can be sent through time. I think that having that in your back pocket, I, I agree. Is a big I thing. think that would be a tougher one because you never know what's going to happen, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. how do we know? Like, you know, if he's coming in the future, and today's the day. Yeah, like you'd always be on edge. Whereas for yeah. with Mike Myers, it's like. You know, he's like, he's I there. just saw him yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, I, I he tried yesterday, but I'm pretty sure he's got three or four days to come up with another scheme. Not only that, yeah. I can fly to Germany. Yeah. I'm pretty I sure no one's going to get Mike Myers yeah. a plane ticket, yeah. nor will they let him he on. He will not make it through security. Sir, you need to put your chainsaw down. Yeah. And he'll be like, Rrr, Rrr, give me your yeah. face, even yeah. though he doesn't really Take say that. Take off your mask. Take Rrr. off your, yeah. You don't That's want Jason to Voorhees. Yeah, you're right. You're, but yeah, he has a face mask. But he does so a that, face mask. He has the yes. Shatner mask. Yeah. 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 So, Shatner. I mean, the thing is, is that it's not going to, I don't think yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to work because Sarah Connor can go anywhere, but the Terminator can then go to Follow where she her. is. Yeah. Whereas Mike Myers, if I'm flying overseas, that's it, bro. Like, good luck swimming. But but can can the Terminator do that? Because if, like, the the line is, yeah, like she lived in, California. Yep. And this is the line. And then on this day, she went to Germany. Sure. He doesn't know that. He's going based on what the, what the. So you're saying, okay, so if, if it's a matter of him going back it's in like time. It's like the butterfly then he, effect, mm-hmm. right? Right. But he, okay, so if she went to Germany, let's say on a trip or something. Right. Now that skews the line. What's the future going to send it to? Right. Whereas if, but if the Terminator is there, even if she does decide, like, let's say Mike Myers and the Terminator are both there. Linda Hamilton and Mike Myers' sister are also there. OK, yeah. let's let, let's establish that. OK, well, the Terminator, especially if it's a T-1000, let's put it that way, okay. that can transform into somebody. Still don't know if it can go through the metal detector. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. But if she flies across the ocean. Yeah. You know, then the Terminator still probably has a chance to get to her. Whereas Mike right. Myers, I don't think. This is just me not, I don't know if he will, but I don't think if she decides to go in the same plane, because they're sitting down, be like, hey, <laughs> there's a robot chasing <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> Let me tell you about my brother. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and they both go and the Terminator and Mike Myers are looking at each other while the plane's flying and they're like, well, what are we going to do now? I can see the Terminator just going. Okay. Whereas, yeah, that's fair. whereas, um, the mm-hmm. Mike Myers is going to be like, ah, shit. So if the Terminator shows up. Yeah. And she's not there. Yeah. What background mm. music plays? Like for me, it's wah wah. Oh, that's a good one. Like mine would be the <laughs> mine would be the Price is Right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, that'd be mine. Yours? Hey, a couple people. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Get man. Ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> I really have nothing. Get Anyways, there's some comments here. Uh, so Cat McDaniel says that some demon he was put through. Uh, some cult thing as a baby. That's Michael okay. Myers. Yeah. And is it like the prequel or a sequel to Rosemary's Baby? Sorry. Uh, who ahead. knows? And then Comshack kind of chimes in as well. Michael has tried to kill his sister more than the Terminators tried to kill Sarah. So wouldn't the, that leave his sister more terrified? Sure. Mm. Maybe. But if he's tried that many times and failed, yeah. then it's like, then it's like, at that okay. Point, at that point, it's yeah. like, okay. You're like, not very good at this yeah, killing like, thing. Hey, what are you going to do this weekend? Ah, oh, my brother's going to try to kill me. Oh my God. Yeah, but he's been doing it for years and it's kind of a game right now. <laughs> it's like Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do this night, Pinky? Try to take over the world. <laughs> try to Pinky, kill my yeah, sister. Brain, 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 brain. Uh, brain. Uh, Michael, uh, Arturo <laughs> says uh, Michael Myers had a druid's curse in him, oh. I guess, by but that was retconned apparently. Okay. But, yeah. By the new one? Yeah, yeah. we all got uh, problems. Monster, that's, okay. uh, who knows? Out of the how many films that they've put out, it's probably been retconned yeah. in okay. some way, shape, or form. But yeah, that's um, it. Disney Plus. It's officially happening. Yeah. Uh, it's only in the States, you said? I think they said November. It's opening in the States. Where that means us, too. Who knows? Like the streaming yeah. service? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. official now. I yeah. think uh, they said Falcon, Winter Soldier, Scarlet Witch, Vision, and what was the other one I mentioned? So there's a, a Falcon, Winter Soldier piece. Loki. On their own, mm-hmm. uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch. It's like it was like I don't know, Desperate Housewives of the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Loki's getting his own standalone, and then cool. the Mandalorian is supposed to be a, a big show in that as well. So that's like Boba Fett, which then piggybacks oh. off Mark Hamill saying that Star Wars fatigue is probably coming 
I'm sorry, Mark Hamill. It's already here. Yeah. At least for me. Sorry, the piggybacks. But yeah, the Disney streaming thing. How much Ten. is it? Do they say? Seven bucks. It's not too bad. Six ninety nine. I would We have Crave and Netflix in the house. I would uh, get rid of Crave and put the Disney one. But I have heard Crave is pretty good. It, you it's know got what? HBO, that's why. It does, yeah. That's where it's worth it. Well, don't get rid of it until you finish Game of Thrones. But no, but like well, it's... it doesn't it's, get updated. Yeah. Son of a... It takes a while. Like all, yeah. all seven are on there now, but it'll take a while before all it'll be, eight will be on there. Exactly. Holy so shit. that's where like I'll talk to you. the fourth time I've <laughs> water. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. I mean, what? I mean, what? I mean, who? What? But Disney Plus should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have they announced outside of those those ones that you mentioned anything else new? Like, are they doing their own individual properties? Job of, job of the Hut. Yeah, I'd like to see. Is that. there the Hut? No, oh, I just he starts off <laughs> as been, this little worm. I've been saying that for like ever. Like since we wow. first started the podcast, I'm like, I can't wait for the Job of the Hut. This is what up. this is the Job of the Hut yeah. movie is going to be. It's a okay. worm. <laughs> no, yeah, so it's a worm. And his mom, and his mom keeps telling him to get a job and grow up, <laughs> but he just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. But the thing is, he ends up getting bigger and just making deals because people keep trying to. It'll be like the gross version of Jack, the movie with Robin Williams, where he's like screaming, can Jack come out to play? Mm-hmm. But they're like, can Jabba come out to play? No, kids. He's at home. He just wants to sit there and eat his whatever they yeah. eat, right? Zarg nuts. Is that a thing? Zarg no, wait. That's, a, that's an Avengers thing. Anyways. Yeah. Disney, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so then he just grows bigger and bigger. And in the meantime, he's been formulating these plots to get these guys to go do stuff. Like, hey, why don't you put 20 bucks on this pod racing thing? And then he ends up winning for some reason because he sits yeah. at home and analyzes stats. Well, lo and behold, mom dies. He takes over. And now he's a gangster. It's like NCAA. Like the Le-le. NCAA Final Four. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm work? guessing like that's kind of like how it would be. Like, if Not you're, in my if mind, but I appreciate you trying. Races, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Wait on the ponies. But on That's the, what ponies. You did. the ponies. Yeah, the ponies. Um, Kentucky, uh, there was one Kentucky question. Derby? Go for it. Kentucky Derby. Go for it. Kentucky Derby. Have you com- seen that Seven Days Out? No. Okay, if you guys haven't watched <laughs> Seven Days Out on Netflix, it's awesome. Okay. Um, and they have the Kentucky Derby on there. So what it is is it follows. I think the right now there's six episodes on there, and they're seven days out from oh, their big yeah, event. You know. So oh. one is uh, Fifth at Madison Fifth Avenue or whatever in. Um, a restaurant, high end restaurant mm-hmm. in New York. Yeah. The other one is a Kentucky Derby. The other one is a satellite that's been orbiting Jupiter for like 15, 20 years or whatever. And they mm-hmm. finally came back, which was mind blowing. Wow. And then it had, um, a fashion one. It had, it had so many other ones. Mosaic. Yeah. Mosaic. <laughs> but it, it follows <laughs> these seven days <laughs> out yeah. until the day of. And it's like, it's really cool. But anyways, the Kentucky Derby is part of it. Cool. Contract's question is what's a better fight? Michael versus Jason. Or Terminator versus Jason X. I don't know Jason X. Yeah, well, I'm assuming that was Jason the space version. Oh, is it? There you yeah. Well, then I would say Terminator versus Jason X. Sure. Um. Wait, mm, what's a better fight? Is the Terminator good? Is the sorry? Is yeah? Is the Terminator good in water? I don't think so. I'm gonna say Michael versus Jason. Yeah, I think I'd better fight. And, and the and the reason I say that is because it's it's just man on man, and like somebody has to eventually die. It's not like the guy's gonna turn into the liquid metal yeah. or whatever, like or well, a robot that's a or whatever, or yeah, or, or, or it's a robot or versus a robot. whatever. It's even odds. Man against mm-hmm. man, I guess. Whatever. There's got to be some mortality there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with that. Cool. You? Yeah, I like. Jason and Michael. See, Terminator uses explosives and guns, and these guys don't. Jason yeah. likes to walk around with a machete up his but ass. But Jason's got and- guns. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony, for your puns. <laughs> and anyways, Mike Myers has a chainsaw. He uses like weapons no, that he uses you need a to knife get more than anything. Right, yeah, up machete. close and personal. By the time, so Same picture this. Uh-huh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> so you played knifey spoony before. <laughs> Second Simpsons reference. <laughs> yeah. So imagine them being on opposite sides and going towards each other. Well, Mike has to be right up to him to do anything, and it's a knife. What's a knife and a chainsaw going to do to a machine? Whereas he could just blow the crap out of him. Are you like? It's not versus those two versus Terminator and the other guy. It's yeah. Those are two separate fights. Yeah. yeah. That's two separate. Okay. Yeah, it's not like it a sounds like you're team. trying to like they're fighting each other. Yeah. No, Jason X Mike, is what? Hold on, Mike and Terminator. No, Michael Myers and Jason. Yeah, or Terminator and, Ter- and Jason and X. And Jason X. I still think Terminator because of the close distance. Okay, there you but go. I don't know anything about Jason X. So, <laughs> so what? What if Jason but, X took a machete? Okay, and just jammed out like the eye, and it's done. He still has another one, and he can still move, can't he? No, but because that would that would just totally screw up the whole interface, and well, it's done. It's a very anticlimactic fight. 
All right. Okay, then I'll go with the other okay. one because it'd be more uh, more stuff going on. Okay, I don't know. that's fine. Yeah, I'm that just... was a complete waste of everyone's time. <laughs> well, it was, no, a, it was a good it was question. An, it was a great question. Yeah, question. Yeah. My forever. response was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. saying the question. I was like, no, it's a good question. That, I kind on. of like yeah. talk out loud. Yeah, there you um, go. Yeah. Apparently, they're doing a Grease prequel. I don't think anybody... Oh my God, about time. I don't think anyone <laughs> asked for this. <laughs> no. I don't think anybody wants this. I don't think most of the people, if you mention the word Grease, they're going to either think the country or what you get when you change your oil yeah. or what's in your deep fryer. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a show called Grease. I think it was based off the musical. Or they made a musical off of it. Anyways, mm-hmm. it starred Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Um, John Travolta. Mm-hmm. It was a 50s style musical thing. It was cool back then. Nothing groundbreaking. Does it need it a sequel? No. <laughs> no. Yes, it does. You go to call, but <laughs> we a, go together. Sorry, it's, like, a, it's a prequel and it's called Summer Lovin'. That's what they're pitching. So it's basically the summer that they the, hook up. It's the summer, which they hook we up. already saw in a montage when they were singing those summer nights. There's people Very still well go down regardless. <laughs> but there's the love story behind it, not just the yeah. the, the beach. Yeah, like I mean, I you, get that. You, the, but there's, it's it's there's the a whole, story there. There's but a they story said it in there. the "Tell Me More, Tell Me More" song. But no, but that's just mm. like it's in a one minute summary. It's like do, is the Coles notes the same thing as reading the whole like play Script. of yeah. Shakespeare? But is John Travolta? You get the gist of it, but it's not the whole thing. Is John Travolta and Olivia Newton John's? Summer vacation away really worth an entire movie? How did they meet? Don't say on summer vacation. <laughs> like, what made them like be attracted to each other? And Please where tell were they? You're actually <laughs> serious. And, right and where were yeah. they that they met? Apparently, how, how, how somewhere does it near. That mean you need to be on the podcast more often. <laughs> maybe, maybe they met at a diner. I guess we don't know. But we don't clearly, know. Clearly, they went away somewhere. Right. Like, especially John Travolta's. Character. And where did they go? Yeah. Where was their summer vacation? That Tell had us such more. A romantic more. <laughs> Tell us like, more. Like, did he have just, a car? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You. But fuckers. they didn't say where one they second. went on, on vacation. On. All they said was summer loving. Yeah. Having some fun. They never said having like a blast. in Cape Canaveral. For having example. a blast, Cape summer Can- loving happened so fast. Yeah. Come on, man. Florida. Well, MIB yeah. crossover. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna break down the lyrics for you. Maybe we can find the entire thing. Oh There's goodness, summer loving had me a blast. Yeah. Okay. Summer, summer loving, loving happened so happened fast. So fa- Vague. Can you just sorry? Can you just okay? Yeah. Okay. Just just I met okay. a girl crazy for me, met Vague. a boy cute as can be. So Vance. they liked each other. Summer right. days drifting away to her. Uh, Oh, the oh, summer, summer nights. nights. And then they no said, context. tell me more. Yeah. Did you get very far? Oh, does he have a car? Are these the questions that you're really wanting? Right. She swam by me. She got a cramp. Okay, so somewhere near a body of water. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Maybe okay. he was the cabana boy. Yeah. Or Florida, the lifeguard. California. He ran by East me, Coast, got West my Coast. suit damp. Whoa. Oh, then it's definitely California. <laughs> I saved her life. She nearly drowned. Okay, lifeguard. He might have been Life- a lifeguard. He was a lifeguard. Clearly not, because it was just a summer vacation. I think he would be having to work okay. there. No, yes. see, but people take up right, like want to be lifeguards on just for a couple months, well, and they maybe. come back for school. Okay, yeah. yeah, far away. It looked like they were far away. It didn't look like they were anywhere near. Maybe. Do we know where Rydell High res- resides? I don't know. Maybe it's, there's a, it's a Riddell. Maybe John Travolta's it's character Rydell. is like Terrence. It's Rydell. It's Rydell. It's Rydell. <laughs> it's Rydell. <laughs> I saved her life. She nearly drowned. She showed off, or sorry, he showed off splashing around. We already have the main part of the movie, okay? Oh, yeah. Summer sun, something's begun, but ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, the summer nights. It could be a lake. It could be a freaking creek. Hold on. We was don't know it where love, it is. Was it love at first sight? Uh, let's go to the first verse. Met a girl crazy for me. Duh. duh. And a boy cute as can be. There was... There was something yeah, there. there. There was a, there. Yeah. Did she put up a fight? Eh, probably won't work in this day and age yeah. to sing that song. Took her bowling <laughs> in the arcade. Okay, so we know that there's an arcade. So they could have been in huh. Cape Canaveral, for all we know. We, they, <laughs> we went strolling, drank lemonade. <laughs> we made out under <laughs> the dock. <laughs> we made out under the dock. California. We stayed out till ten o'clock. Yeah. Summer fling. Don't mean a thing, but oh, oh ho, oh, those summer, summer nights. nights. Okay. A wella, wella, wella. But you don't got to brag because he sounds like a. Dr- oh, this song goes a lot longer, I think, it's, than yeah, the rest wow. of the song. Yeah, like, I did not know any of these either way, How much there's no story there. Yeah. Now, it's, now it seems like all the friends are judging him. I'm like, you, but you don't got to brag because he <laughs> sounds like a drag. Um, Maybe it's from the musical. How much dough did he spend? Could she get me a friend? That's probably Kaniki. Yeah. Or the other short dude. Yeah. 
Uh, he got friendly holding my hand. Well, you guys were making out. Of course he was getting friendly. Of course. He's sending she signals got friendly, here. <laughs> she got friendly down in the sand. No, this is actually part of the thing. Uh, Went to he the was pharmacy, sweet. got the morning after pill. He was sweet. <laughs> just turned 18. Well, she was good. You know what I mean. So we pretty much have the beginning, middle, and end of that entire relationship in the song sung in the first movie. Yeah, but we don't know, like, where they were. Well, how did their, how did it fates align that they went to the same vacation spot? Apparently, Cape Canaveral is a wonderful place. We don't know it's Cape Canaveral. That's the first location I mentioned, yeah. (laughs) All right, then. I guess uh, Nick and Vasily, or V, (laughs) as you like to say. We will be the only two in the theater (laughs) watching the movie. I guess that will be. It'll be its own summer loving. I can't wait for the review. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know how much time is left on this thing on the live show. Uh, uh, Shazam. Before we get minutes. into this list, you saw Shazam. You haven't seen Shazam. I saw it. Oh, you did. Oh, you did. No, I didn't. Jesus, oh, God, man. <laughs> Every time. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, the look on your face. <laughs> really? Well, I think you got out of your house. No. I think we. I think we're both in agreement that yeah. you should go see it, and I think you'd like it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't groundbreaking, nope. but it was a lot of fun. It was okay. super heartwarming. Very. Nice. Um, there was there was a lot of there was a lot of good stuff in it. I didn't like it when I first left the theater, to be perfectly honest. Mm-hmm. But then I thought about it more, and I'm like, no, like I like this. I like this. I like that. I had fun with these things. Mm-hmm. I think I just wanted more. And so yeah. kind of came to the same conclusion too. Like we both kind of be like we felt like there was a little bit more in certain oh, pockets. Self saw it too. Yeah, we went and saw oh, okay. it on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, we, yeah, it's worth a watch. It's fun yeah. and much Zachary of Levi's amazing. Much of what you saw in the in the trailer was like a good parts of it too. And then that's there's true. a lot more to it for sure. The yeah. family aspect. And but stuff. Yeah. And, and and that's actually the most the best part of it. There's yeah. a really really nice family aspect. Yeah, the kids in it are really good. Um, the family that are there are really good. Like there's just a lot of there's a lot of heartwarming stuff in there. Okay. The only negative I have, aside from the villain, the villain being kind of like whatever, um, because he was just kind of a weak villain, which I feel bad because I like Mark Strong yeah, a lot. I re- recently watched The Kingsman again, and he's so good in that. Yeah. That was fucking spectacular. <laughs> uh, Hard Scottish accent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. First time I've ever done one. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it, it, aside from that, the kid that played Billy Batson. It, he felt like such a different, at least for me, he felt so different than his Shazam counterpart. Yeah. It kind of threw me off in some parts. Hmm. But that was my only gripe. Yeah. The little girl, there's a little girl in there. She is awesome. She's yeah. adorbs. Show stealer. Pretty damn close. Even in her yeah, own way, for sure. Her, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She is, yeah, she's awesome. But yeah. the, but yeah, I would highly recommend it and people okay. should see it. Uh, Sorry, dude, likes it a lot. And it's another win for the DC. Yeah. Uh, both Shazam, Aquaman, they're, they're, they're on this good course of let's make our movies stand alone and let them be good. I think we're going to see, um, Christine and I are going to watch Aquaman this weekend. Oh, oh it's solid. Good. Yeah. Very good. So that's I'm, exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You said that very solemnly. Like it's Aquaman. like you were, it, it, no, no, no. It's, it's Aquaman. Not, no, I'm not saying how you <laughs> yeah. pronounce it. Christine and I are going to see it. I, I mean, like yeah. you were going to see, you, it felt like you were going to go into something like Christine and I had a very, Interesting conversation. conversation. The other <laughs> we, we discussed go the see rise and fall Aquaman. of the Atlantis Empire, and Yo, we thought, "I want Atlantis to be real." It is real. Is it? Yeah. I have a book called Atlantis, and it's like a Dan Brown esque book with like actual facts about Atlantis. See, I've I've read actually a book that talks about where it is, where they believe the city of Atlantis was, or you know where it is, or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's off the coast of South America. I I do Yo. believe that the the city existed. I want I, to I'm, I'm a firm believer in it. I, I believe but, uh, that it existed. Yeah. I believe that it still exists because I love underwater stuff. Yeah. Except it scares. And the Age of Mythology out of is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> if you're if if you've ever played Age of Mythology, which was like when did that game come out? Oh man, that 1999. Was like 2002. Shit, really? It was 99. 99. Yeah. yeah. Well, at the you end, played of it the, too. I remember when it came out. Yeah. I remember the. It was the, before I, the millennium. I still remember the theme song. Dun 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 dun. Anyways, it's just Atlantis. No. <laughs> and Atlantis sinks at the end of that game. That'd be Spoilers. a good uh, strategy game, Game of Thrones style. Yeah, yeah they, they, they will. Uh, also, there's 34 like seconds left was. in the live show, by oh, the way. Shit. So wow. um, Time flies. We're going to say bye right now to you guys in the live show. People that are listening right now, we're going to ramble on a little bit. Mm. Um, Do we have a pretty good turnout for people? Like I don't know. I don't know. We'll see at the end. Yeah, we will. It usually pops up and says, hey, you've had Seven this point many six people. <laughs> oh. well, we've only had like five or six people that have been on like the whole time watching, yeah. which is, 
you know, pretty good. You're one of them. So yeah, so I guess four. eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, too fast, two, two one. one. Happy New Year! And pause due to poor connection. What do you mean? It's over. <laughs> 151 people. Okay, so that's that's 151 people. Um, yeah, no, Shazam was fun though. Cool. And uh, I haven't seen Aquaman yet, but I want to. Um, I was you talking about seen Aquaman yet? Not yet. Oh, I thought you did. No, you should. Um, <laughs> we kind of we kind of gloss over <laughs> the I, I, we gloss over the Mark Hamill saying that there's Star Wars fatigue, but I think we're all in agreement that yeah. there is. Um, yeah. In its own way, but you got to think it has fatigue because of perhaps the miss of Solo more than anything, and the, and last, the last Jedi, and the Last Jedi. But look, I also, look at Avengers. I don't. To me, there's no fatigue. I still love seeing these. I will always rewatch these. I never get bored of them. So the fatigue comes just from the content alone, not necessarily that there's that much out there. I'm very excited because they announced that like the next project potentially could be Old Republic, right? And me just watching the cinematic trailers from the Old Republic game online. That was a great game. That mm-hmm. alone for me is like okay, they have tons to work off here. There's so much lore. Yeah, even. More so than Marvel, to be honest. They have way more lore. They have way more stories to to cover. They just have to do it correctly. And that's where the fatigue won't happen. People are fatigued because the product isn't the best. It's it's not terrible. Yeah. But it's just not where it could be and where it should be. And we've had that even the the prequel series that came out, like episodes one, two, and three. Like they got better progressively, but all as a whole it didn't hit very well. Four, five, mm. and six are hits because of they were the original. Nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. And then... Seven, eight. Force Awakens, I think, came out very, very strong. And then Last Shot, I kind of fell short. No, mm-hmm. it, it did fell short. Whatever. Fell short. It divided I still, everybody. I still enjoy parts of it. Mm-hmm. But as a whole, it kind of fell. And that's where the fatigue, I think, comes more than anything. Do you think fatigue is being confused with commercialization? Hmm. Probably. Like every single time, you can't go a day without there being. But I think it's the same thing with with Avengers. Oh, by the way, we didn't talk about it. Another fucking Avengers trailer came out today. Yeah, yeah I never it's, saw it. Me neither. I'm not going and, to. And it's too they many. They released one yeah. recently too. After the last They've, one that I watched. Uh, so since I think we since the final trailer, quote yeah, unquote, it's like three. They've had two or three already. I'm like, come on, they have to stop because uh, friends in group chat sent it and I. I replied with that gift from uh, Breaking Bad with Jesse Bigley. Like, you can't keep getting away with this. Like, they oh, yeah. they keep putting more and more out there. Whether it's fake or not, I don't want to see anymore. Yeah. I was very satisfied with the final trailer that they released with them walking, and that's it. I don't need to see anymore. Now you see, now I've, like, I've, un- unbeknownst, I've, like, seen, um, some of it because it's like on a commercial or it's on this or that. Yeah. And it shows them making their plan. I'm like, well, I don't need to see that right now. I've always been a person who enjoyed watching trailers. Mm -hmm. And like I, if it came on, I would, I would, I would make the, make a point to watch it. I would too. But for the, for this movie, for Endgame, I'm literally, I'm Anthony. I'm like, la, 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 la. Mm. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to see it. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know that they came out with a, with a recent one, Just but one today, the I one think. that came out I before made, I, this one, yep. there was a commercial, like we were watching a show on TV. We were actually watching Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And, uh, the commercial came on and I was like, no, 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 no. Like, and Christine was like, what are you doing? Like, like, what's your deal? I'm like, I don't want to watch the trailer. And she's like, since when do you not watch trailer? I'm like, I just don't want to watch it for this one. Yeah. One yeah. of us. One, one of us. I know it's weird. Like, yeah. but for for some reason, it's because you're invested t- and you're wanting to be to keep keep it as pure be, as possible. There you go. But I think at the same token, though, like at this point, uh, Marvel is kind of like, well, people are going to watch it anyways, so yeah, who cares? Cool. Sure. Yeah. And uh, you know, yeah, we we could show the whole movie in trailers. And it doesn't matter at this point because people are still going to go see it. Well, for sure. You know, they're scalping. You know, people are scalping yeah, Avengers for a thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm, that, I'm putting my kid through college. <laughs> Lady, uh, I'm putting my kid through college. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the amount of sales they've done is like un- unheard of. Yeah. Like the pre-sales are just I, ridiculous. I don't, under, blow I don't all understand. Out of the water. I don't understand how someone would pay a scalper to get Avengers Endgame tickets. Just wait a week. Well, like or wait four days. This isn't like the Super Bowl where it's like one and done. Your favorite team or is go playing. to a ridiculously late show that no one else would go. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, like or I'm going skip work. We got 11. We're PM. going at yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, I kind of want to skip work ridiculous. and go the the day after. Um, I'm gonna I'm call in gonna, sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be a sack. I might just take a day. 
I'm actually call in sick. I have some vacation days. I might take that you, vacation day. You know what? Let's go for breakfast the next day. You know what? Let's go. Let's do it and talk yeah. about it. Oh, wait. We can't. Also, we're not doing a live show that week. <laughs> yeah. Because of the obvious 26th. reasons. We're going to do yeah. a show like, but it's not going to be live. Yeah. The week of the 26th, there'll be no show. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's wrap this shit up really quickly. Yes. I'm going to go through our... Uh, apparently the Accords Part 2, which is the most uh, anticlimactic title for it, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. Do you want me to start from the bottom? I'll start yeah. from the bottom. Always. At number 18, Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. 4.7 collectively the... out of 10. Sorry, so, the average? <coughs> yeah, The average is 4.7. Oh, okay, the average. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. collectively S- means like Sorry. a total score of... No, four. No, no, I'm like, no. you uh, guys gave it a 1 each? 5.2. 5.2 from Vasily. Four from Anthony, or sorry, five point two from me, four from Anthony, and five from Vasily. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go At, with I'm gonna go with five. You're gonna say a five? Okay. Point one. Um repeating, of course. We could change it. Do you want me to on the go? Just change it on the go. Do I just have to yeah. Just Whatever. Think. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy two is a five point four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 got a 6.4 from myself, a 2 from Anthony, and a 7.8 from Basili. So Anthony really dropped that down mm-hmm. because he felt like being... I'm going to go with the 6.4 on that one. 6.4? Yeah. Captain Marvel, 5.7. Hmm. At number, you keep it at what? Negative at number, 3? <laughs> at number 16. Well, it's actually a funny story. So I gave it a 4.2. Uh-huh. Anthony gave it a 6.9 because he saw it again and he said he liked it the second time. And V gave it a 6.1. Uh, I had it at a 4.5. I actually mm. thought I scored it lower, but I had it at a 4.5 or something like that, 4.8. And then I watched Wonder Woman and I hated Captain Marvel even more. So I dropped I'm going to go 5.1. 5.1. Iron Man 2 at number 15 at 5.9. Iron Man 2. I'm going to go 6.4 on that one. I'm going to go a little above the curve. You are in between me and Vasilia. I gave it a 5.3, Anthony a 5, and V a 7.3. Okay. I gave it a 7.3. Yeah, you gave it a 7.3. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, two. It was supposed to be 3.7. The, yeah, sorry. That was, that was Iron <laughs> Man Dyslexia two. for yeah. Cure Found. Actually, I'm surprised Iron Man 2 fell so short. Yeah, man. Well, I like the average is, dude. Well, you did, but maybe some sure. other people did. Mm. Uh, Ant Man and the Wasp <laughs> at a 6.1. That's coming in at number 14. Ant Man and the Wasp, 5.5 from me, 5.5 from Anthony, and a 7.4 from Vasily. He liked it a lot. Ant Man and the Wasp? Ant Man yeah. and the Wasp, the second Again, one. Again, these are all pure enjoyment. I I'm, yep. I'm going to go with. Uh, I went a little bit more than pure enjoyment, but. Yeah. I'm going 5.8. 5. What 8. was yours? Mine was a 5.5, and so was Anthony. Okay. So you're, Mine's 5.8. Yeah. Thor. Just under 6. At number 13, Thor The Dark World at a 6.3. 6.6 6 from me, a 6 from Anthony, and a 6 from Vasily. Dark World? I yeah. actually, I didn't mind that one. Yeah, I'll go with a, a 6.1. 6.1? Yeah. Uh, Iron Man 3 coming in at number 12. At a 6.6, .6, I gave it a 7. Anthony gave it a 6.5, and V gave it a 6.3. Is it Iron Man 3? Yeah. That's the yeah. one with the divisive Mandarin wasn't the Mandarin and he was a British actor kind of thing. You know what? I'm going to go 5.4 on that one. 5.4? Yeah. Coming in at number 11, Thor, the first one, got a 7.1. The first Thor, 7.2 from G, that's me, 6.2 from Anthony, and Vasily gave it an 8. Okay, so I want to give it an 8 as well. Fair. Only because of one line in the movie that cracks me up every time I see it, where he's like, we... We drank, we fought, he made his countrymen proud or whatever, like that one line. Oh, okay. I don't remember he made his family yeah, yeah. proud, whatever yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, yeah. That line cracks me up every I time. Know. But I actually like the Thor, the the first Thor movie. Yeah. I, I, and because I I'm also a Natalie it. Portman fan. See, I didn't care for Natalie Portman See, in that. I like, I like her. Portman. Yeah. I just didn't like her in that movie. Her character? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now we're in our top 10. Our mm-hmm. top 10. At number 10, Ant Man at 7.2. I gave it a 6.9, Anthony gave it a 7.1, and V gave it a 7.5. Ant-Man, eh? Yep, the first one. Uh, you know, it was okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. Coming I wasn't in, really a big fan, and I don't know. No. Like, I didn't, I didn't See, care that for one it. landed for me more than Ant-Man and the Wasp, because I felt Ant-Man and the Wasp tried to rehash a lot of the Ant-Man yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming in at number nine, the first Captain America, a.k.a. Captain America 1, the first we, Avenger. Yeah. Collective score, 7.5. Hmm. Uh, Captain America 1, 7.3 from me, 
a seven from Anthony and an eight point one from V. I'm gonna go with a nine point zero. Wow, a nine for the first Captain America. I like the first Captain America. I and you know what you scene loved it. catches me the most is the one the the and it's such an obscure scene, but the one where there where's the flag and the you have to capture the flag. Oh, that was a great. And he one. pulls the pin and it goes down. He gets the yeah. flag and goes. Yeah, I just like I'm like. Not a boy. Yeah. Yeah, because I was never athletic as a kid. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, he uses yeah, his mind. I, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, coming in at number eight, Doctor Strange at 7.7. Doctor Strange got a 7.5 from me, mm-hmm. 7.2 from Anthony, and an 8.4 from V. Do you have anything? 5.8. 5.8. I was right. not a fan really? of Doctor Strange wow. at all. Yeah. Wow. It was uh, above above a halfway mark, but not quite a six. Okay. All yeah. Right. I yeah. Coming in at number seven, Black Panther at a seven point nine. Okay. Black Panther a seven point eight for myself. Anthony gave it an eight point three, and V gave it a seven point six for an overall score of seven point nine. Coming in at number seven, Black Panther. Nick, where do you stand? I'm going to give it an 8.5. 8.5. I actually, I, I really enjoyed that movie. Yeah, I yeah. remember you did. I still remember fun. our review. Yeah. Coming in at number six, Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming Two. got a, <laughs> got a, got a, Homecoming got a 7.7 from me, yeah. an 8.9 from Anthony, and a 7.7 from V. We actually uh, shared well, our thing. You guys are like, all three of you are Spider-Man fans. So, of course, that, you guys are going to r- rate high. Um, but that being said, it was all... I thought it was a really good movie, yeah. mm. so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with an eight on the dot. Pretty eight point oh. So uh, yeah, yeah, we gave it an eight point one uh, together. Yeah, coming into our top five. Mm, coming time. in at number five, Iron Man at eight point three. The first Iron Man got an eight point eight from me, an eight from Anthony, and an eight point two from V. Yeah, I would go with uh, an eight point one. 8.1? Yeah. I. It was a good movie. Yeah. yeah. We liked it because it was with the OG. It started. Yeah. Everything, well, right? yeah. that was a that was a contributing factor. For sure. For sure. Yeah. But it was also like I've rewatched oh, yeah. it and it's like this is still so good. Yeah. Coming in at number four, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 with a 9. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 got an 8.9 from me, an 8.5 from Anthony, and a 9.7 from V. Wow. 9.7. Oh, That's a high. big number. Yeah. I don't think you had anything less than a 6.2. I I'm going to go 8.8. 8.8. 8.8. Yeah. Civil War comes in at number three. Our yeah. top three. Captain America, Civil War for a 9.3. I gave it a nine. Anthony gave it a nine. And Vasily gave it a 9.9. That one is my favorite out of all of them. It is, eh? So, like, if, if I could give a 10, I'd give it to that one. So, you'd give it a 10 to that I'd one. I'd give that one a 10. Coming in at number two. Thor Ragnarok mm-hmm. with a 9.5. I gave it a 9.3. Anthony gave it a 9.3. And Vasily gave it the 10. Mm-hmm. His only 10 in the list. Remember, everybody, no score has the same number, at least when we devised all this. I That one is definitely a 9. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go 9.6. 9.6. Th- just the comedic timing of it <laughs> like hold on i'll be right with you like yeah. when he's turning in the chain little stuff like that i i don't know i just really like that movie too and coming in at number one on our list last one left infinity no the winter soldier oh, winter we soldier. left the avengers movies out of oh this. yeah so number one is winter soldier with a 9.8 oh okay i messed up because winter soldier is my favorite all right that so was 10 Sorry, that's a, nope, take that's mine okay. out to a nine point nine on the other one. So yes. I gave it a nine point six. That was my highest rating. Was a nine point yeah. six out of ten. Anthony gave it a ten, and V gave it a nine point eight. Nine point eight repeating. Yeah, and that was it. That yeah. was our list. So yeah. Winter Soldier at number one, Ragnarok at number two, Civil War at number three, Guardians of the Galaxy one at number four, Iron Man at number five, Spider Man at number six, Black Panther at number seven, Doctor Strange at number eight, Captain America one, the First Avenger at number nine, and Ant Man at number ten. That is the official top ten and top five of the F Word podcast. Excellent. And that closes out the Accords part two. There will not be a part three. I mean, unless we decide. Well, we were talking about doing Stanley cameos. Yeah, and there'll be something I- different though. Yeah. yeah, we'll name it something else. <laughs> sure. But the accords yeah. seem fitting, just because like it fits with Civil War. The accords, yeah. yeah. If it was our, if it was our top movie, it would. However, it is the first of that that ties into it. So yeah. you know, you know, you know. Yeah. You yeah. guys have anything else? No. No, that's it. Good. 
that was another week of the F word. Thank you everybody so much for joining, listening, downloading. We're at like almost 1400 downloads, by the way. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Thanks Thank for you everybody. everybody who's downloading. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I finally finished Red Dead Redemption 2. So now I can go mess around and shoot everybody. Took uh-huh. me a very long time. Not 100%. That's my exciting news of the week. That is everything. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. Make sure you're following the F word podcast on Instagram as well. You can always shoot us an email at the F word podcast at gmail.com if you feel like it. And uh, until next time, I'm G. I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm V. <laughs> and we are out. Out.